So here we are fishing on a crystal clear gravel pit on a bright sunny winter's day. Still rather chilly, very hard frost last night. So although this lake has produced some good perch in the past, we're not quite sure how it's going to fish today. Um, during the course of the video, I'll give you five tips which will hopefully help you catch a few fish in the future. So because I'm fishing at a reasonable distance, I've got a seven gram finesse jig head on here. So I'm casting it out, holding the rod tip quite high, watching the braid and watching for it to go slack. As soon as it goes slack, I know then that the jig head's just hit bottom. Because it's been very cold, I'm not expecting the fish to check perhaps chase so much. So I'm giving a couple of turns on the reel, high rod again, watching the braid drop back down. Really need to concentrate on the braid as the jig is falling back. As it's falling back, very often you'll see just a little pluck or a slight tug on the line as the perch takes on the drop. Really interesting way of fishing and you need to concentrate on it, but when the water temperature starts to drop as it is now, it's a very good way of picking up extra fish. I'm in. Yeah, I'm not sure whether this is a pike or a perch. It feels like a reasonable fish. I think it's actually, from, from the way it's going, I think we've hooked up with a pike on this one. Um, so not the intended species, but a little bit of fun. There you go, one off. Didn't actually bite off, even though I'm fishing fluorocarbon straight through. Um, just come off. It's good fish actually, good fish. So, hey, c'est la vie, but not intended species, so I'm not too disgruntled. So as, as I'm casting around and searching and hopefully finding some perch, um, because I fished the lake before, um, I know roughly where the deep drop-offs are and the holes, the gravel bars, gravel par bars, really important feature on gravel pits. Um, I know that sounds perhaps uh, obvious, but uh, the carp anglers call them their clear spots. I like to think that it's the feeding spots for the predators. Bait fish, crayfish, whatever, when they go across that gravel bar, they're really saying, eat me. And from experience, I found that those areas and the edges off of those gravel bars, really productive. That fish that I lost then, that had come up from a deep hole, just coming up along the side, side of a shelf, just one bang on, and unfortunately a couple of bangs and off. Okay, well, we've not been lucky in finding any perch on a, a jig head with a slick shad. So now I'm going into one of my favoured met methods. I call it search and find. Uh, on the big gravel pits especially, you, you need to find those fish before you're going to 
you've got any chance of catching some and they've got a lot of water to swim in a lot of the gravel pits 14 16 18 foot deep they can be anywhere in the water column what i've found is very successful is a bladed jig you can cast it a long way it goes it goes out if i'm fishing for perch i fish it just with a synthetic skirt i don't put a trailer onto it i fish it on the drop so as soon as it's in the water i close the bale arm over watch it drop quite often you'll get knocks on the drop where they hit the blade because the blade flashes in the water especially in the crystal clear gravel pits that is a good way of finding fish so i always but always if the lake has got a good head of pike which from what happened just now we know it has i'll always fish a finesse trace um, much better you're not going to leave a jig in a in a fish and that won't put a perch off if it wants it so finesse trace bladed jig and away we go i use all weights of jigs um, quite often on the big gravel pits uh, i'll go up to 20 grams plus and because um, you're looking at distance and you're looking at deep water Right, that's on. Now we'll see if we can catch. Think it's a perch. Shaking his head like a perch, that's for sure. Got the landing net there, sir? Don't you just love gravel pit perch? Not the biggest fish in the lake by a long way, but not a bad fish. And uh, if we zoom in on that, look at those colors. What's interesting for me is that I had actually had two fish that had bumped off on a lemon tiger. My thought process was perhaps they were just taken a little bit short, not taken properly. I've gone over to a natural, straight away had that fish first cast. So just goes to show, because you're not catching doesn't necessarily mean there are no fish in front of you. I've changed the lure colour. I've gone from bright lemon tiger to a natural. Um, I've also started changing my my retrieves so I'm still letting it work the bottom because like I said I don't think the fish are going to be active active today but quite often I'll let it drop give it two or three sharp turns sometimes you find a fish may follow it down and then it's that instinctive reaction it's almost like now you're trying to take that lure away from me I'm going to eat it so I've just done that now and straight away we've uh, hooked up and had one good fish okay so we've changed the lure we've gone to natural i've changed my retrieve and straight away i'm into another fish now which is a good fish we've still not seen it but from the way it's banging its head i'm thinking it's a perch and it is In the net. Okay, they're not massive, but I'll tell you what, they're beautiful fish. Okay, well, we've talked about changing retrieves and everything else obviously one of the other things that you can do is change the size of lures so i've just now gone down to a two inch spiky which is when all else fails okay this one was only a small one but 
you know, elephants eat peanuts. So we'll keep it going. Got another fish. Okay, only a small one, but it keeps you interested and it proves that it works. We've changed size of lures. We've gone down to that two inch spiky. Like I say, when all else fails, um, we had a small fish first cast. Um, okay, he's not, uh, it's not massive, but he's certainly had it. There you go, and oh, look at that when he had his head up, then he had his spin out. Look at that. Okay, so we've moved around we've moved around the lake a lot we've tried lots of different retrieves and different colorways um, obviously the other option is changing lure size and type of lure um, spiky shads absolutely brilliant lure um, love them to bits we've changed over to them we've had another four fish straight off getting hits uh, just had this one, cracking fish, um, very proud of himself, putting its fin up for us as well. You can't ask for more than that. Well, we've given it our best. Um, we've had a few, we've bumped a few. Um, we've covered most of the lake now and we've tried searching for them with a bladed jig. We've had a couple of bumps on that, stopped there, put a jig out, had a couple of taps, maybe a fish. Um, it's been a hard day, but I think, you know, a couple of the fish that we have had have been typical gravel pit fish beautiful colours on them, full bellies, really nice fish. So I think it's been a good day um, and uh, I think we'll sign off with that and try again later.